Here's a precision turbo that I upgraded and rebuilt. This one I think was a 64 millimeter, but we upgraded it to a 66.3 millimeter billet compressor wheel, which we had machined down to a two millimeter super back so that we could use the GT35R center cartridge. We also did the T51R mod, so it's got the elongated inlet here which I machined down, then we cut on our new, or our latest machine, the end mill, to be able to make it so you have those flow ports in the back of this pipe here. And then we put pins in it to hold it in place. I'll just show you how free spinning this is. And polish it up nice. This one has the V-band turbine housing. I also have to make these spacers to be able to connect or to hold down the bearing housing to the turbine housing. This one I think is a .82. This one does have coolant ports so I would recommend using those if you do a build like this and the oil feed is a different thread than the precision ball bearing series so you will need a GT35R oil feed fitting and oil drain fitting and GT35R coolant port fittings like the way precisions are set up the oil feed is I think an odd size I'm trying to remember what size that one is the drain on the Precision is like a TO4E, but this is a GT35R, so this is smaller. I'll show you the back side of it. I machined this turbine housing out to the 67 by 74 millimeter turbine that we had custom made for this. I'll show you what this looks like. If you do want to do a build like this from converting over from a precision, you have to have this adapter plate. This is a TO4E to ball bearing center section adapter plate. This is also common on the GT3071R and the GT3076R, but some of them had different compressor outlings, so not all of them had this plate. This will get the normal o-ring just like the precision turbo had originally that goes right in this pocket. You just put it on here and then you slide it in place and it sits right there. This is just where I redid the anti-surge. The most horsepower I had somebody make out of this compressor wheel size was 926 horsepower, but that's before we did the turbine upgrade. So the one that made that much power had a 1.06 T3 turbine housing. This one has a .82, but the one with the 1.06 just had a GT35R turbine, which is only 62. 35 or 62.45 millimeter I can't remember but this one we upgrade to a 67 millimeter turbine so it should make a lot more power than that but the turbine housing is going to restrict it a little more so if you go with a bigger turbine housing you can pick up a lot more power it just depends on what somebody wants as far as what they're putting it on if you're putting it on a six cylinder motor, I think you should probably just go with the 1.06. If it's going on a six cylinder and you want to use the .82, it'd be good for a daily driver. Should spool up really well. But if it's more of like a car that you want to make a lot more power, like 950 plus, you may want to go with that 1.06 turbine housing. Here's a comparison of this turbo on the left that's good for close to a thousand horsepower and this turbo on the right that's off of a Caterpillar. 
This one on the right is an S475. That's from a caterpillar. It looks like the one on the left would be swallowed by the one on the right. I had someone on a on one of these at seven pounds of boost make four hundred it was somewhere in the four hundred horsepower range. I think it was four twenty five. It just fits right inside there. I think this one has a six inch inlet. And the one on the left has a four. <laughs> 